Um, one more question here. The old dog asks, can any of you t uh, kindly fix the bands? Oh. My goodness, they suck. Yes, they uh, do. Yeah, today uh, looked pretty rough. I looked at the uh, the numbers and, oh, major storm. There was It was a one-two. It was two, not one, but two yeah. coronal mask ejections, one right after the other. So we got it. Yeah, we got a two-banger today. And right. then um, they're supposed they're predicting another storm on the fourth. So Ugh, this weekend does not bode well for you guys out there in Podoland. Yeah, and I guess there's something there's there's a there's a lot of QSO parties. There's there's a, Q, a lot of QSO parties going on this month. So it's that um... can make it interesting. <laughs> smoke the, the smoke the real quick. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, that's the bands have been interesting to say Either the least. They're for... really hot or they're really bad. Oh, but it, yeah. but it's, we're at the peak of the solar cycle right now, guys. So it's mm -hmm. going to be up and down. It's going to be, yeah. And, um, you know, be, instead of being in, the, you know, when we were on the deepest, the deepest of the deep in that trough where the band sucked because there was absolutely no solar activity. Mm -hmm. Now we're at the peak. We've got so much solar activity. It's just that the the D layer is so energized that everything is just getting absorbed. You know, it's a big. It's it it's it's just one big sink. So, mm -hmm. and that's what. Yeah. yeah. So I think we found. You know, they said they said that we were going to peak this year at some mm -hmm. point, and unless. It's going to get worse, which it could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we've I think we've found the peak of the yeah. the solar yeah, cycle well, or something like that. You know, that yeah. Would be not a good day, but um, <laughs> yeah, it was like the like just a couple of days ago. I looked at the numbers and I was like, the solar flux was over two hundred, and I thought the sunspot number was over two fifty. Mm -hmm. It was smoking like ten meters was wide open. Uh, I'm sure six, I mean, and we're getting into sporadic E season two, um, 10 and six should be coming up to have a real great season this next month or two here. Um, so definitely, oh, yeah. uh, uh, 80 meters is just going to be a, a complete loss. Uh, you might as well just forget about 80 until next, until the fall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, 10, 15, 17. I mean, I mean, a lot of guys don't ever get the chance to work 17 and 24 meters. Um, so get out there and use those, use those, um, bands up, um, cause they're going to yep. be really smoking hot here in the next couple months. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be challenging. Um, we saw that happen a lot last summer too. You know, the bands were, um, really good in the winter time and then mm -hmm. they, and then they just went, went to crap. Um, late spring but then they rebounded again in the summer and um yeah it's summer propagation is different than winter propagation i've 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 i've, I've always said so so mm -hmm. absolutely you know you just kind of yeah you just sort of have to change your change your tax change your strategy and um mm -hmm. it's uh, but, um, yeah i think it's gonna yeah. i think it's gonna be a great season for upper band uh parks in the air stuff getting out and oh, operating yeah. outside so well, some of them are. Some of them, you know, yeah, bands were good Tuesday and yesterday. Oh, man, I should have been out yesterday. It was mm -hmm. a beautiful day. So, um, yeah, but I, I think it's um, 10 is going to be on a on a super roller coaster, though. You know, I, I think if we get all of this D-layer absorption, it's just going to, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it, that band is going to totally shut down again. But that's right. the way ten, that's the way 10 meters is. But uh, yeah. I think you're right. The six is going to be, it's going to be a hot summer for six meters, especially, mm -hmm. you know, looking at, at, you know, how the, the severe weather season is kind of rack, you know, starting to shake up this year. It looks like we're, it's, we're going to see a lot of sporadic E come yeah. late May and into, into June. Probably a lot of tropo as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Sean gets four, four and five nines in the same queue. So when activating, <laughs> Absolutely, the best of both that, worlds, right? It, you totally. It's it in the exchange one transmission. You're 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 five nine, and the other one you just totally drop it. And yeah. um, I've 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 actually seen, you know, listening to the other side. It's just the 
the the meter just up and down, up and down. Yeah, it, it so, get real crazy. Yeah, yeah. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.